I'm Father Michael Rebeck, a uh, priest here at St. Clair of Assisi in Ackworth, Georgia. And I wanted to do a quick video on the Sacrament of Confession because it's a source of great anxiety for a lot of people, but it's one of the most wonderful uh, outpourings of mercy that the Lord gives us in bringing us back to himself, living with him, uh, being free to mess up and to fix things and to keep moving on. So uh, a couple different points, the first of which is what if it's been so long and I've forgotten how to go to confession? A lot of people have this experience. If you've been away from confession for three years or 10 years or 40 years, right? It is not too late to come back to the sacrament of confession. The only time it's too late is after you stop breathing. So come back before then. Um, but you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, uh, the priest is going to judge me. He's going to think it's been so long and what a terrible person. I will tell you from my perspective, that when I hear somebody that comes in and they say, it's been so long since my last confession, it delights me. I get really excited and it, it makes my day. Sometimes it makes my week. Uh, sometimes I get weepy. It's just so amazing to have somebody, to see the Holy Spirit work in somebody's life and bring them back after so many years and to sense the apprehension on their voice. And then through the process of confession, see the joy kind of come back to their own, their own soul, their own conscience. Um, so don't worry about that. You're going to make the priest stay. If it's been 40 years, He's going to have a feather in his hat that he can show the Lord and say, you made me a fisher of men and look what I caught, right? And you're going to be just this huge catch for them. And you're going to delight them. Um, also, you don't have to worry about the format. The, the, the priest can help you with that. And he, he'll be happy to help you with that. If you've forgotten, bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been so and so long since Father's confession. Who cares? Nobody cares, okay? We'll fix that uh, as we go. Uh, the only thing that the priest can't do for you is he can't, Examine your conscience and actually make the list of your sins. That's something you have to do. Do that before you come. It, he can't make you sorry for your sins, but you're there already. So chances are you're sorry for your sins. And he can't give you the courage to confess your sins bravely, right? These are things that you have to work, work out with the Lord before you come to confession. But know that the priest is going to be really excited to receive you if it's been a long time. And then the next time you go, you can say, bless me, Father, I've sinned. It's only been a month since my last confession. What a, what a joy that's going to be, right? Now, the, another thing that we uh, hear sometimes from people about the sacrament of confession is I'm really embarrassed about my sins and you want me to say them out loud. And what if they get out, right? What if, what if, what if all my sins uh, are, are all of a sudden known publicly? Well, first of all, let me tell you, sin is boring, okay? There's nothing exciting about sin. Sin is, is uncreative. It's ugly, right? And that's why we come to confession, to get rid of the ugly. What's exciting is virtue and the adventure of a life well lived. And that's what we want to set you back up for through the sacrament of confession. So yeah, uh, your sin's ugly, you're ashamed of it, you're embarrassed of it, but we're confessing them to get rid of them so you don't have to worry about them anymore. And if you're worried about them getting out, there's a, a thing called the, the seal of confession, right? Uh, it is uh, perhaps uh, one of the most severe penalties uh, the church can impose uh, for a priest who breaks the seal of confession. Uh, a priest may not, must not, will not uh, divulge anything of your conscience that was revealed in confession anywhere ever outside of his own person, right? And he probably doesn't even remember. I don't remember most of the sins, uh, most of the confessions that I hear, again, because they're boring. I want to live life with you outside of the confessional. I sit in the confessional so that we can both be alive and live that life together, right? That's where that's where all the fun stuff happens. And then kind of this one dovetails into the third one that I just kind of want to leave you with is that people say people people love their priests and they love to be loved by their priests, right? They're like, I like my priest. I want him to like me. So I don't want to tell him my sins because what if after I tell him my sins, he's not going to like me anymore, right? Guys, I prefer to go to confession to my friends because they know me and because I know they love me, right? I have never heard a confession um, at the end of which I did not love the person more than I loved them before the confession. I've said this for the 10 years that I've been a priest, and it's been true every time I've said it. For 10 years, I've been able to hear confessions of people I don't know and people whom I know and love very much. And each time I get to love that person a little bit more. It makes me love them more. I get to do this wonderful thing for you, right? And you trust me. You show me your trust when you come uh, to, to ask for forgiveness uh, for me personally, right? Now, you can go to any priest, but to know that this person loves and trusts me and knows me enough 
that I that, that they feel comfortable coming to confession to me. That means the world to me. And when I go to confession to my friends, which I went to confession to one of my friends literally today, he sat in that chair. You can't see it, but he sat right there. And I went to confession with him. And I was confident that at the end of that confession, uh, that he gave me such a wonderful gift that I also gave him the gift, the gift of my trust, the gift of my confidence, the gift of my love, that he was able to uh, forgive me of my sins. So look, y'all, if it's been a long time, if you've forgotten how to go to confession, if you're worried about the embarrassment of your and the gravity of your own sins, if you're worried about the priest knowing who you are and not liking you after your, your sins, I hope at this point, from this priest's perspective, that you don't have to worry about any of those things. If the Lord is calling you back to the sacrament of confession, run with abandon. He will meet you with joy and open arms, and you'll be reconciled in friendship, not only with Christ, but even with the priest that hears your confession. Thank you guys for taking the time to listen, and I look forward to the opportunity to see you in the sacrament of confession.